Hi everyone. I'm Amy. I love toads and cross stitch. Um, I filmed last week and showed some of the um, gifts I had received and Christmas cards and now I'm back this week to film like a regular floss tube and then I'm going to hook them together. Um, like, cause I have a lot to show. I had to work up the nerve and the, and the energy to do this. So, um, I'm not showing you everything. It would just be too much for me to show you everything. I have, um, three fully finishes. Oh, did I bring the last one? Yes, I did. Okay. Three fully finishes, one just finish, and then a bunch of whips and some more gifts and some things that came in the mail. Okay, so, oh gosh, what do I show first? Um, and this is probably gonna be sliced up a little bit, but it'll be fun, right? Okay, hold on, let me get my bucket. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. First, my first finish. I was working on the third Biscornist. So this is called a Ruby Throated Hummingbird Biscornist. Um, we call them a Red Throated here where I live in Virginia, um, but Ruby is red, so. <laughs> and I fully finished it and it's adorable. So here it is, it's a little Biscornist. There's the eggs. The eggs are one over one, and the rest of the nest is two over two, and it's on 28 count. And then it's completely full coverage. So that's a little hummingbird. And I brought my other nest so you could get a sense of how small it is. <laughs> so this one was the cardinal one. And this one was the chipping sparrow. And so that's the hummingbird. Let me see if I can hold them up. So look how little. And I, it's just so cool. I love how they look so real. And this one had some couching on it. Couching is where you take two pieces of thread, you lay one on top and you kind of stitch it with the other thread on top. And then, let's see here. So that, my girlfriend Becky sent me the fourth. So I can't wait to start this one. I'm only starting one thing a month. So maybe in March, I already have something planned for February. Yep, I'm excited. And I don't even have fabric for it yet because I need to get some 28 count for that before I can start it. So, yes, they're so cute. They're so cute. I don't know if y'all can see them up here, but I'm gonna put them right there so you can see them. Okay. Um, my next finish. came out of this book uh, from Emma Congdon. This is a wonderful, wonderful book, Cross Stitch for the Earth. And I fully finished this one. So this little frame came from Dollar Tree. So it was like a dollar twenty-five. It was black. It was a mirror. I popped the mirror out covered this, covered the mirror with this and then put it back in. And I painted the mirror. So I painted it like a, a brown and then went over it with another, like a light brown. You can see the black popping through a little bit because I wanted it to look like real wood. So, yeah, I love that. I just haven't hung it up yet. That over there and then my next finish let me think where the pattern is where the pattern
pattern cover. Okay, my next finish was Letters from Mom. I'm just gonna change this to Letters from Natalie because she's my pen pal in the UK, but I do get letters from a bunch of people, like sweet cards and letters. So I changed it to Letters from Friends. And there is an alphabet in there, so you can change it to whatever you want. Also, I didn't use like any, I don't think I used any of the call for colors. Um, here's a bigger picture of it. So the lace around was white. I changed it to black. And I added some things from this book. And I'll show you what I added from that book. So here is my letters from friends. I made the uh, project envelope using Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial on YouTube and using the inspiration from this photo where it had a button closure and the stitched piece was on the back. So here is, or the front, I don't know, the back or the front. <laughs> so somebody sent me this button a long time ago and I just, it's so it's just white on the inside and I already have my cards and letters in there. And this was just fabric from my stash. So that's a little owl right there. And then let me get up closer, hold on. <laughs> okay, here's what I changed, let me think. I added a spider from that book, from the Brenda Keys book. Um, I added this little caterpillar who's eating a leaf. I added a little dragonfly right here and a bumblebee. And I changed so many of the colors. Um, I may have, I think the letter colors may have still been the same and this wood may still have been the same, like it was wood trail or something like that. So yes, I, I love it. I love how it turned out. I love things that are functional. You know, I can, I will be using this. So, yep, it's perfect. So, um, let's see. Then I have one finished finish, not just a fully finished. And that was my Lakeside Needle Crafts um, Woodland Sow. So I did one animal a month all through 2021. I finished it like the first week of December, but the last time I filmed a floss tube was December the 1st, 2021. Oh, did I say the date? Oh, it's like January. It's a Wednesday and it's 2022. And it's an, it's, I don't know what day it is. It may be like the 26th or something like that. Anyway, this is my finish. Um, it's on Valor um, from Picture This Plus. And there are all the animals. And I don't know how I'm gonna finish this yet. For I, I don't know if I'm gonna frame it or make it into a wall hanging. That's why it's not, it's just, I just love it so much that I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up. So I haven't done anything with it yet. <laughs> but it is hanging in my sewing room so I get to stare at it. So, okay, I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm gonna get some more stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to tell you, I am filming in a different spot in the house because the sun is coming in again and I the sun the sun chases me when I'm sitting in that chair um, and I film at this time because my husband is at work and my son is at work so it makes it easier because nobody's in the house but me and the dog and the turtle so um, that's why I'm on this side of the house so the sun isn't like right in my face okay anyway so I worked on this the last two weeks I think 
This is one of my hates. It's called The Favorite. The charted by Heaven and Earth artist is Omar Rayon. And I'm gonna put pictures of what it looks like or what it's gonna look like and where, where it was like over my face. So you can see. So her puppy dog is coming out more and more, which I love. So this is coming off, I think today or tomorrow, probably today. I'm gonna take it off and um, Top Frog is going back on. So actually, let me pull. So there she is, really. So Top Frog will be coming back on my, I only have one set of Q-snaps, this is it. <laughs> this is the only one I own. So, and I only work on one full coverage at a time. So, um, yeah. So she'll be coming off today and I will stick the top frog on there again. And I will show you top frog because there's progress. Okay, so this is what I've been working on today. And I don't think I have a picture, so I'll put a picture in right here. I'm working on this with um, Jemima, the rocking stitcher. She and I are um, encouraging each other to work on this. This is not finished yet. I, I'm facing the windows now, so I see all kinds of like cars and dogs and birds, and so I'm getting very distracted, sorry. This is 28 count one over one. And let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June. So we are working on the June flower of the month, which I think it's a wild rose. And I still have like a leaf, all these leaves to finish and a little bit of that flower to finish. So it's not done yet, even though it kind of looks done. And it's beautiful. So I can pull it back and you can kind of see. I don't think I've shown this. Maybe I have, or maybe it was in my whip parade. I don't know, anyway. And I'm working on things with a lot of people. So I'm working on this one with Colette. She is the Highway Stitcher Colette Kingsley on Floss Tube. And we try to work on this on Sundays. Didn't work on it this Sunday, Colette. <laughs> I can't remember what I did. Um, I'm using, so it's a dimensions kit and I'm using all the kit floss, the kit fabric. And I think it's a, I don't know if it's a 14. I can't remember, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is where I'm at. And I'll put a picture of where I was. So little by little, it's growing. I want to stitch in the middle of that bulb so bad, but I'm waiting. I'm trying to get this work down a little bit right here before I come over and work in that bulb. So, oh gosh, it's beautiful. There it is. Couldn't find my cover, cover photo for a minute. This is the Hunter, or just Hunter, by, I think that's the artworks by this person and this one charted it. Yeah. So I'm stitching this with Vicki, who is Stitch and Button on Floss 2. And she gave me this pattern. see what I'm stitching this on because this is a great fabric. This is 36 count pecan butter by Lakeside. And here is where I'm at. No ironing happened and my thread is just like all over the place up there because I probably um, sometimes I start a thread so I'm just ready to go next time I pick it up. And I will write on my pattern, <clears throat> excuse me, I will write on my pattern what I left in my needle. 
So like, you know, if it's a triangle or an X or whatever, an S left on the needle. So when I go back, I know exactly where the heck I am and what's on that needle. And I can just start. So this looks great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love all of my whips except for one, and we will get to that one and talk about that. That's why this is going to be kind of a long video, and I didn't bring all my stuff out. It's been a long time. It's been since December the 1st, so. <laughs> okay, this one I'm stitching with Becky, who is Socks for Mom here on Floss Tube. And it's the berry bowl. She's stitching one side. Well, we're both stitching both sides and we're going to exchange a side. And she wrote me, she is stitching hers on Patriot's Brew by r, &R. I'm stitching mine on Stars Hollow by r, r They're both 36 count. So here is where I am. And um, the heartstring side is done and I'm working on the scar, the scarlet house side <laughs> and you can tell my thread is ready to go right there. So I have a big old long thread hanging and I can just, next time I pick it up, I'll just start going. I love this color too. It's beautiful. Okay, this is the one I need to talk about. This was my new year new start. I started this with a bunch of people, wonderful people. <laughs> Thank you for letting me join in. It is, I think it's Bluebirds by Riolas. And I love that picture. I love Bluebirds. I love the snow. I, well, I love everything about this picture, right? So. I started it and I worked on it for a few hours on the first and then I worked on it again the next night and then I picked it up again like the next week and worked on it again for a couple hours while my husband and I watch TV in the evening I hate it I hate this floss it is some kind of wool acrylic wool acrylic I've never stitched with wool acrylic before. I've only stitched with cotton, my you know, cotton and silk for 30 for 35 plus years. And so this is like stitching with an SOS pad. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. So this is where I'm at. And I don't think I can do it. I really don't. I don't it life is too short to not enjoy something I'm stitching. Um, so my question, I need your help. Is there a conversion out there for the Riolis wool acrylic threads to DMC? I need to get the DMC colors or I'm not doing this. I, I'm not, I'm not going any further, which is a shame because I love it. And I also have another Riolis kit with woodpeckers that I love. So I don't know, I do know what to do. I, I'm not, I'm not stitching it, but if there's a conversion out there where I can switch these flosses to cotton or even silk, that'd be amazing. So please let me know. Yeah, but that's not happening and I'm kind of sad about it. <laughs> oh, here's the here's the woodpecker one I have. So I have this one too. And it's wool acrylic. <laughs> and I'm I'm going to want to stitch that. And the pattern is great. I like the pattern. It's been great to follow. But these you have to use really 
short lengths, which I don't like. I like to use really long lengths. Once my thread gets like probably that short, I'm done and I get a new piece of thread. I am not stingy with my thread at all. Um, threading the needle is wretched. I have to use a needle threader. I never have to use a needle threader. Every time I thread this needle, which is a lot because the thread length is so short, and my needle keeps coming unthreaded. Oh, it was so frustrating. I have to keep threading and threading and threading, and I, I, I just wanted to throw it across the room, and life is too short, it's not worth it. So help girl out. Thank you. Okay, next. <laughs> Next is my oldest, actually, I thought another whip was my oldest, but this is actually my oldest. I found this in a drawer. I don't know, I was cleaning out, found it in a drawer, completely forgot I had it. Um, and then somebody reminded me I had it, and I can't remember your name, but thank you, and said, when are you gonna pull that one out? So I finally, I went back, <clears throat> excuse me, and pulled it out again, and it's this. It was a kit and I remember stitching on this when my daughter was about four or five years old and she just turned 27. So it is old. Let me see if it's got a name on it. Oh, I think it did. It was like, I, think I did see a name on it somewhere. Is it Simplicity maybe? Oh, I don't see it now. Well, anyway, it's Ada. I'm using the kit floss and I pulled it out and I finished that crab. So the crab was probably mm, halfway done, probably halfway done. And I finished him and he's all backstitched. So yeah. I pulled that old, old sucker out. There was all like icky tape around the edges, like masking tape that was like half coming off. So I took that off and I zigzagged around the edges. So yeah. And I don't care for the beach. I'm more of a river girl. So once I finish this, I'll probably give it to my mom um, who lives at the beach. So, yeah. Or somebody I know that loves the beach. I don't know. I will, I will give it to somebody when I finish it. Because I'm not a beach girl. Okay, this was my oldest whip, besides that one. This is Smoky Mountain Christmas. And I've been working on this one in January. Um, every Friday for Festive Friday with Janet Jabber. With Janet Jabber. Um, this is 36 count, just white linen. And I'm gonna pull it back and do the before. I concentrated on the sled, so you'll be able to see that there's more sled there. And then I'll pull it in and then show you, cause it's so cute. puppy dog and I changed the red in his um, patchwork jacket to blue so he is adorable I love this piece seriously like I said I I love everything I'm stitching on except blue jays This one was a new start in December. If you watched my whip parade, I UFO'd the owls, oh, all these words, um, from owl forest embroidery, and I sti I'm stitching this one instead, just the one owl from a dimensions kit. And I'm cutting it off, I drew a line right there 
So I'm only stitching from here over. And I changed the fabric. I was not prepared. I have no clue. Oh yes, here it is, here it is. 36 count Tyco from Picture This Plus. So this was a new start in December. So I don't have a before picture, but that's where it's at. So you can see the owl already. And I love this. Stitching with cotton on 36 count. And where there's blends, I use two. And when there isn't blends, I use one. Now, with the dimensions kits, some of the background is half stitches and you have to use like four and five. And I do use probably like four. When it calls for five, I only use four. And I just do the half stitch. Okay, let's see. My needle. This one is Sarah Elizabeth Brooke, 1842. And that brick house is everything. And I got to the brick house. And Lisa, she bought me a coffee so I could get, or a couple coffees so I could get the floss. Um, so I bought another floss. This is a uh, Belsois, Stitching in Belsois, which is cool, classic color works. And yeah, there's a, let's see, let's move that. That's just a thread that's ended and I leave my thread on there. So if my needle falls off, which it did, it's easier to find my needle. So I always have thread hanging from my needle. And Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what the fabric was for this. I think it's Lakeside. Yep, let's see. Vintage Light Exemplar. It's 40 count. So I'm doing one over one with the Belsois. And look at that brick. That brick is so wonderful. Okay, so that is either Fox Red or Red Fox. And it is a great, great brick color. It's called Red Fox. So it has this variegation, like lights and darks, like you would see in brickwork. It's perfect. I'll be using that for more brick. I'm not a red girl, but when it comes to brick, it makes my heart happy. Okay, this is the last one. This is a mini top frog. I will put what it's gonna look like here. I'm trying to finish this by the end of this year. And I think I have like, if I do 11 now, 1100 stitches a month, I will finish it by December. So I'm, I actually would love, okay, hear me out. I would love to finish this at StitchCon. So, and ring the bell, wouldn't that be awesome? So I think I'm gonna to try to do more each month. So in June, I can be like all the way down at the corner and finish it at StitchCon. That would be so fun. So, so now my goal is to finish it in June. We'll see. But isn't it beautiful? I mean, I guess you have to like frogs and toads to love it, but I love it. Okay, and that is going, that's going back on my uh, Q-snap because that will be work, that's gonna be worked on. Probably until I start my new start for my birthday in February, which is the shark pattern, which I'll stick right here. Um, the sharks, I'm stitching, it's a, like a little small one, and I wanna make it a pillow to go in our bus. Our bus's name is Jaws. Okay, um, I showed you the Biscornis that Becky got me, and then a 
lady named Valerie sent me a package. She sent me a card with a cardinal and some um, patterns out of magazines. And then she sent me this cute little bead with a frog, which I love. I, you know, it could be like a little scissor pull or no zipper pull <laughs> or scissor fob. Okay, then she sent me these kits. Okay, this little kit right here is from a magazine, but look how cute. And it's full coverage. So they gave you this white. So instead of stitching that pink, I picked out this green. So green with those cute little daisies. That'll be so cute for a turtle or like a little pin cushion or a one day grandbaby. And then this is a phone case, but I think I'm going to make it an eyeglass case. So this is a little bus, which we have a little bus, not little, but, and I'm gonna change it to blue like our bus. And then I'm going to turn that into like a little eyeglass case to keep my glasses in, in the bus. I love those. So, so thoughtful. So that was from Valerie. And then I'm going to show you what I got in the mail for purchases. Okay, I got two of my Be Stitch Me fabrics because it's been since December the 1st. And these two are the fabrics I got. And they're both, one, they're just beautiful. Beautiful. My colors, they're both 36 count. This one is called Frost. The light one is called Frost. And the gray one is called Lunar. And those are Be Stitch Me. And my fabric of the month for January has shipped. So that should be here any day. <laughs> From, um, let me see. Kanicki's Prims and Whims, Tears of a Toad. I had to get Tears of a Toad. So I got this off her web website. Look how cute. So Kanicki's Prims and Whims. And then <laughs> My last thing is I joined the Bird Crush Club from Lindy Stitches. That's our bird for January. And he's based off this bird, the Stellar's J. And we got the little needle minder. And then we get a little booklet, which you can stick your stickers in. So you get little stickers and then you fill out your little book as you stitch them. And then there's a little thing written by the photographer on the Stellar's J. You get your floss. So there's one fancy floss each month that goes with it. Uh, this is the evergreen there, the pine needles. So that'll be fun. I don't know what I'm going to stitch this on yet. I'm, I had a thought of a blanket, like one of those afghans where it has the squares and I could stitch a bird in each square or I can just stitch them separate and then turn it into a big blanket or quilt or I could stitch it just on one big piece. I don't know yet. I, 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 I'm so confused, I don't know yet. I think I need to see a couple more of the birds before I get started. Also, I want to thank Stephanie for using eco-friendly packaging. Thank you, girl. Thank you. And I think that is it. Yep. So I'm gonna hook the other video to this, so it's gonna be kinda long. And, and I'm gonna go put all this away. Okay? Okay, bye y'all. Hey, Floss Tube. So I am going to
put this video onto a regular floss tube, but I couldn't film the whole thing together because it was stressing me out because it was going to be too long. So I'm doing my, I got a lot of gifts and cards and things in December and January and I wanna share them. And then I will come back maybe next week and film a regular floss tube, what I've been stitching, and I'll hook them together and then I'll post it. So this is just cards and gifts that I have received. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm a little bit scared I'm gonna forget somebody because there's so many. Um, but okay, first I had two people buy me a coffee and one was Lisa K and one was Allie, so thank you so much. Um, Lisa, I did purchase uh, another Belsois for my Elizabeth, nope, Sarah Elizabeth Brooke. I got another one of the um, Belsois for her from your um, the coffee money you sent me, so that was exciting. Let's see, where do I start? Um, I'm just gonna pick up things and show them to you. So Cindy from Cindy's Cross Stitch, and I got a Christmas card from her too, um, and I'll show you my cards in a minute. She sent me this tumbler with a Volkswagen bus. So we have a few buses, got my name on it. It does have a lid, but right now the lid is being washed because I use this all the time. I use this every morning for my coffee, and then I use it in the afternoon for my hot chocolate. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. I love this and I use it all the time. Um, then, Vicki, Vicki from Stitch and Button. She sent me, and I've been using these too, so that one of them's, one of them's already dirty from pizza, <laughs> getting pizza out of the oven. She made these for me uh, pot holders and I only owned one so now I have three pot holders thank you Vicki and Vicki sent me this like the very beginning of December and her birthday is the very end of November so she sent me a gift for her birthday you're crazy Vicki I love you though um, I did an exchange with my Zoom girls, my Tuesday evening Zoom girls, um, and we did a Christmas exchange, and who had me was Christine from Hollis Hands Creates, and I'm going to try to link all these people below, <laughs> and this is what I got from Christine. Isn't it beautiful? She said it reminded me, reminded her of me. And look at that. Ooh, love that flower. So I love to work in my garden and I'm always at home. And so she sent a card and it, she said the pattern is from Bloom Where You Are Planted by Birds of a Feather. Oh yeah, I love it. So that's from Christine, Hollis Hands Creates. Um, for my exchange partner, it was Michelle from Cozy Egg, and I will put a picture in right here of what I stitched and sent her, and I will link her below. Let's see what's next. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring this little bucket over here. Uh, Colette, the highway stitcher. I had like a, a shadow, I'm not sure. I guess it's from my iPad. Um, and Colette sent me a tape measure with the frog eyeball that comes out. Thank you, Colette. That is hilarious. I love it. Angela sent me the sweetest card. 
So sweet. Um, she is on Instagram as heart underscore two stitch. And she sent me some frog socks. And that pillow. She stitched a long time ago and just made it into a pillow and sent it to me. And it's looking very adorable in my sewing room with all my nest. Because I did just finish my uh, nest biscornis, which you probably saw I'm going to film and put before this video. So I will treasure this. It's so beautiful. Then let's see. Kathy, let me see what Kathy is on Instagram as Pop Tart Kid 59, and she's so sweet. Sent me a card. Look at that card. And she sent me some insect fabric. Y'all know I love insects. If you're new here, I love inse insects. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. see here um Natalie Natalie is my pen pal from the UK she is oh let's see she has a floss tube I have to think about it because it's kind of long handmade homemade I'm gonna link it below I always forget her her home sweet home handmade that's it home sweet home handmade and she sent me a card that you can, um, not bury it, you plant it and it has seeds in it. So it will turn into flowers, which is so cool. And I'm gonna try that. And she sent me a bunch of stuff, but I'm just going to show you sort of the stitching stuff. She sent me a turtle scissor pull turtle and I love those colors she sent me two of these little dogs one was a Datsun and then this one's a pug and I already put the Datsun on one of my scissors so I'm going to be using these as scissor pulls she sent me some frog scissors and a pattern from Erica Michaels. And a couple more other Winnie the Pooh things, but I just wanted to show you the stitching stuff. So let me put this in my, back in my tray and make some noise. Um, the last thing Natalie sent me was two cross stitch books that I had been wanting, but I saw. So this one, and this magazine, I guess, is based in the UK. And every time I go to Barnes & Noble, they did not have the one that I wanted. So um, I asked Natalie if she was able to get them, and she was. So I want to stitch that dragon for my daughter because she loves dragons. And then out of this magazine, I earmarked it so <laughs> it'd be easier to find. I want to stitch those elephants. Uh, Jessie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff, she just finished some elephants and I fell in love. And when I saw this pattern was in this magazine, I was like, oh, yep, I'm going to stitch those. And it's full coverage, so but it'll be fine. So Natalie sent me those. Thank you so much, Natalie. Okay, now for my cards, um, I think. Let me put my glasses back on. I'm so scared I'm forgetting somebody because I, y'all are so wonderful. Y'all, y'all just, I got so much stuff. Okay, let's see. So this is from Stacy, the 911 stitcher. I'm shaking a little bit, guys, so I'm sorry. Um, this is from 
April Taylor. She is Homestead Needleworks on Etsy. She's the one that makes the boards, the cute boards you can display your cross stitch on. It's April. I love that card. Uh, this is Jackie from Cross My Stitches. This is Angie from Bub My on Floss Tube. I think she might just be Angie Myers and then Bub My on Instagram. This is my sweet Pam and Steph. And they're from Just Keep Stitching. I'm sure everybody knows. Um, this is from Michelle Cozy Egg. This is Cindy from Cindy's Cross Stitch. This is Patience, and she has an Instagram, and I think it's Patience three. Uh, what is it? What is your Instagram patience? 324 304. I will put it, I'll, I'll link everybody down below. This is from um, Rachel Fensel with her kitties on the back. She's one of my Zoom girls on Tuesdays. This is from Wendy. And Wendy is, has a floss tube, Wendy in Neverland. So it's Wendy with an I, underscore in, underscore Neverland. And then she makes bags and she's win, uh, bags by Wendy on Instagram. And I'll put those back. I'll put all that down there too. So that's Wendy. You might recognize her. This is Jen. This is Spooner Rooney Jen. Oh, my hair is in my mouth, y'all. There we go. This is Christine. Um, stitch all the things. This is Janet from Janet Jabber on Floss Tube. This is Melanie, Melly Ellie Stitches on Floss Tube. We all know she loves Snoopy. Uh, this is Karen from KEB Studio on Floss Tube. And look, she stitched, she stitched that and stuck that on there. And this is Kathy from To Die House. Hi, Kathy. I haven't seen you in a while. And those are my Christmas cards. Okay, so I think that's all my gifts and cards. So I'm going to try to work up some energy and film a floss tube next week. So maybe I can post a floss tube before February. Okay. Okay, love you all.